Hello, in this video we are discussing transient analysis basic part 2 so that we can solve example based on a transient analysis. Let's start. In transient analysis, switching is the most important term. That's why we should understand this is a switch. This arrow indicates switch is closed and this arrow indicates switch is open. In transient analysis, this switching action takes place at t is equal to 0. For different type of examples based on a transient analysis, we have to draw equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, t is equal to 0 plus and for t greater than 0. t is equal to 0 minus means just before switching action happens and t is equal to 0 plus means just after switching action happens. Now, to apply KVL and KCL in case of transient analysis type of example, we should understand voltage and current for different elements in a network. In an electrical network, contents register, inductor, capacitor and energy sources. So, these are different elements in an electrical network. So, we should understand current and voltage relationship for these elements. First, register, inductor, capacitor. For register, V of t is equal to R I of t and I of t is equal to V of t upon R. For register, it is very simple because register is not an energy storing element. For inductor, voltage across inductor is L dI by dt and current is equal to 1 upon L integration 0 to t V of t dt plus I of 0 plus. This I of 0 plus is nothing but initial conditions. So, before switching, if some constant current flows through the inductor, we need to consider that current also while calculating total current flows through the conductor at present instant of time. Similarly, for capacitor, V of t is equal to 1 upon t integration 0 to t I of t dt plus V of 0 plus, where this V of 0 plus is the initial voltage developed across the capacitor. So, before switching, if some constant voltage is there in a capacitor, after switching, we need to consider this initial voltage also. So, this is nothing but initial voltage V of 0 plus developed across capacitor before switching. Current through the capacitor is C d by dt of V of t. Now, we know we have to draw equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, t is equal to 0 plus and t greater than 0. So, we should know how to represent register, inductor and capacitor for all these three stages. For register, we need to consider initial conditions. So, element with initial condition, then equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, t is equal to 0 plus and t greater than 0. For register, it is not an energy storing element. That's why it is represented as it is in all the three stages. Now, we will see inductor. Inductor, it is an energy storing element. So, we should consider the initial conditions. That means, we have to check whether any current flows through the inductor or any energy stored into the inductor before switching. So, if there is no current flows through the inductor at t is equal to 0 minus, the inductor acts as open because current is 0. How will represent current is 0? There is no path to flow the current means we will represent it as a open at t is equal to 0 minus and t is equal to 0 plus. And for t greater than 0, we have to draw only inductor. If some constant current flows through the inductor at t is equal to 0 minus, then it is considered as a or the, that is represented as a current source at t is equal to 0 plus. Let's see. Initial conditions, equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, 0 plus and t greater than 0. Now, inductor, there are two cases. First case, 0 initial conditions means through the inductor, there is no initial current before switching. Before switching, there is energy stored into the inductor is 0. Current flows through the inductor is 0. 
So at t is equal to 0 minus current is 0 means we will represent it as a open circuit. So this inductor we represented as a open circuit in the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus. Now whatever the current flows through the inductor at t is equal to 0 minus will remain same at t is equal to 0 plus. It cannot change instantaneously after switching. It will take some time. It will increase or decrease gradually. So whatever the current flows through the inductor at t is equal to 0 minus will remain same at t is equal to 0 plus. So here there is no current open circuit. That's why it will remain same for t is equal to 0 plus. Inductor is represented as an open circuit at t is equal to 0 plus equivalent circuit. Now for t greater than 0, only inductor will draw because initial conditions are 0. Now second is important with initial conditions means what? Through this inductor, some constant current flows before the switching and suppose the constant current value is I of 0 plus, then at t is equal to 0 minus, we should find what is the value of this constant current. To find this value, to flow this current, there is a path to flow this current. So to find this value, we will represent inductor as a short circuit in the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus. And once we calculate I of 0 minus value by applying KVL or KCL in the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, then that constant current we can represent as a current source in the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 plus. So here we will represent inductor as a short circuit at t is equal to 0 minus. Why? Because we want to find this value of constant current and once we get this constant current value in the inductor at t is equal to 0 plus same constant current flows. But how to represent that? How Now we know the value of that current. So we will represent that value as a current source because it's constant value as a I of 0 minus. And for the equivalent circuit for T greater than 0, we need to consider this initial current plus current flows through the inductor. So this is the current flows through the inductor and we want to add this I of 0 minus. Always currents get added when we are connecting in parallel. So this current source will connect in a parallel. And its value is I of 0 minus. The constant current flows through the inductor before switching. Plus whatever the current flows through the inductor in a current instant of time. So this is two cases in, without initial conditions and with initial conditions. How we are representing inductor in the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, t is equal to 0 plus and t greater than 0. Similarly, Okay, you can correlate this with the equation of the current flows through the inductor. 1 upon L integration 0 to T V of T dt is the current flows through the inductor at present instant of time. And this is I of 0 plus is nothing but this I of 0 minus current. We are considering both the current adding. That's why they are connected in a parallel because current get added when they are connected in a parallel. Now for the capacitor, same we are representing capacitor in equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus, t is equal to 0 plus and t greater than 0. Both the cases we will consider 0 initial conditions means before switching your capacitor is not charged. Voltage developed across capacitor is 0. If there is a no voltage developed across capacitor at t is equal to 0 minus, capacitor acts as a short circuit. Why short circuit? Because the voltage at this plate and this plate is same. Voltage potential difference is 0 means the voltage at both the plate is same. That's why we will represent it as a short circuit. Again, here also same whatever the status of capacitor at t is equal to 0 minus, will remain same at t is equal to 0 plus. That's why here also voltage across capacitor is 0 and we will represent capacitor as a short circuit 
at t is equal to 0 minus and t is equal to 0 plus equivalent circuit. And for t greater than 0, just we will represent it as a capacitor. Second case is important with the initial conditions. That means your capacitor is charged up to some constant voltage V of 0 minus before switching. Now, at t is equal to 0 plus, we need to calculate this constant voltage. That's why capacitor will represent as an open circuit to calculate this V of 0 minus. And once we calculate this V of 0 minus, at t is equal to 0 plus after just after switching, same constant voltage is there across the capacitor and we will represent that as a voltage source because we know the value of this V of 0 minus which we calculated here by applying KVL or KCL in the equivalent circuit at t is equal to 0 minus. Next, for t greater than 0, we need to consider this capacitor current voltage plus this initial voltage. That's why this capacitor in series with voltage. We can correlate this representation with the equation of the voltage across capacitor. 1 upon C integration 0 to T I of T dt is the voltage at this capacitor will get developed after switching and this is the initial voltage V of 0 plus and V of 0 minus is same. This is the initial voltage at the capacitor just after switching. So this is the representation of capacitor in both the cases because we need to draw equivalent circuit. So we should know how we will represent capacitor at T is equal to 0 minus equivalent circuit in both the cases with 0 initial condition and with some initial conditions. At T is equal to 0 minus, T is equal to 0 plus and T greater than 0. Then only we can solve the example based on a transient analysis. Thank you.